to the 2007 First Robotics Competition kickoff live from Manchester, New Hampshire. There's a lot of really exciting information and a new game to show you today. First is possible because of the generous sponsors and suppliers whose names you've just seen and many others. And that's what really FIRST is all about. It's growing interest in math and science and engineering. I'm thrilled to be here today with all of you, the mentors, the staff, the volunteers, but most especially the students of FIRST. You are what this is all about. And this year's game, Rack and Roll. The game is played by two alliances, a red alliance and a blue alliance of three teams each. These alliances are located at the end of the field from where they operate their robots. The game pieces are inflatable plastic pool tubes. There are three types of game pieces. Keepers are placed during the autonomous period. Ringers are placed during the tele-operated period and score points for the alliance. And the black spoiler tubes are used to negate the effects of the ringers. The objective of the game is to place the keepers and the ringers into rows, which can be either horizontal or vertical. Keep lights out. Go ahead. We're in. All right, for just a second. Um, we plan on having a brainstorming session, and we'd like everybody to write down their ideas. So there's paper there, there's paper on the back table, whatever. Um, just jot down your ideas. You can talk with somebody. You can brainstorm with the uh, past students, whatever. But just write down your ideas for now, and we'll have the major brainstorm when everybody gets back later at 4 o'clock. Hey, Jay. Jay, the whole structure is 10 feet tall. Each year there's a different mission. So Alan can go through the missions that we've had over here in the corner. All right, well, I'm going to. The first one I'll start out with this is the first robot that our club built. Uh, we call it affectionately the first year robot. Um, well, what do you think about this year's challenge? Uh, I think it's a pretty cool challenge. Uh, of course, I, I'm not going to say too much to those guys since I am graduated, mm -hmm. but uh, I think that looks like fun. <laughs> is, is it a big challenge? Or? Oh yeah, that's, it's a big undertaking. Um, anything, anything of this scale to do it in six weeks is a very difficult challenge. Uh, I think each of these robots, they ended up making compromises. Well, we ended up making compromises, mostly in part because of time. It is, it's very difficult to try to budget out your time, your money, materials, everything, so that you can, you can design something, build it, prototype it, and then actually have it work properly in six weeks. So hmm. it's a major challenge. And this one has multiple robots in it? Uh, well, you'll, each team only builds one robot. And okay. so what happens is at the, at the competition, you'll be randomly paired up with two other robots, which you form an alliance with, versus another alliance of three robots. So during a match, there's going to be six robots on the field. Um, and first just started you know, using a larger field last year so that they could have six robots and accommodate more competitors at each competition. I don't know what it's powered by. We just to hold it, it. just to like not, just to make sure it doesn't fall off. But where would we run that? Let's see. The, the way my arm works is that it'll have the suction cup on the end. So when you pick it up from the ground, you pick it up from the bottom, and then when it when it goes up, it'll be at an angle like this. Uh huh. And then when it comes across the goal, like Brittany's the goal, it'll be like. See. That's ba it's basically the same thing. Same concept, Which, but like I mean. If you did it this way though, instead of this way, like if you grasp it this way. I mean, you're gonna have to come down with some force. This to way. Yeah. No, the, suction the, well, the suction cup runs off the vacuum. Yeah. Um, but you're gonna have to get a little bit of force to get it down flat. Yeah, because the vacuum had. I mean, you, what you could do, I mean, what we're thinking is where these are gonna be laid up against the wall, all you gotta do is just run by and knock them down. And then you and pick then, them up. So the then they'll land like this and you just push under. Well, see, see how. If we measure. I mean, this almost a circle. Um, if we fix it so the suction cup hits this height yeah. and doesn't go any uh, lower, mm -hmm. then as soon as soon as it hits the minimum height, we know it's there. Uh, turn on the suction, 
Pick it up. I just, I have a problem with the suction cup because we went back there and tried it, and it's it doesn't not reliable. Well, it's it's, it's reliable, it's just flimsy. You, you have to find a way to support now, like, the whole Now, say cup. that, but if a robot even touches that, and it loses any part of that, uh, you know, the suction, it's off. It just doesn't work. The, the vacuum is pretty powerful. But have you tried it back there with the air compressor? Have you tested it with your hand and everything? Did you feel it? Like, because it'll pop right off if you just lose any of that seal. We'll figure it out. Now we could either do the suction cup. I mean, in theory, I don't, uh, with them. In reality, you could walk with multiple, but I just don't like suction cup. I don't like an idea. You're lying on that. First, it's gonna, we're going to need a compressor. Well, I gotta be at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what? What? You got to push down. You have to push down on it. All right. Pull it up. It's not connecting. Wait, wait. Let me see. Let me see. Turn it on. Turn it on. Turn it on. I think we got it backwards. No. Just it might be backwards. Be it is bad. <laughs> it's bad. Katie, that just makes a seal around it. Exactly. The whole point of the seal. Hey, we could have just proved that seal. point and got rid of all of it. <laughs> like, see, don't work. <laughs> 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 no, what suction? It doesn't need to be wet. Toy. Toy. Try again. He knows this. Yeah, that works. <laughs> it's, it's like, like let, let it go. go. <laughs> now, there you go. Let's see what. Okay, okay, okay what I remember. We have to rip it off. And I think we just yeah, ripped our... <laughs> There's an impression on the plastic. Our so cool. I think the suction cup... Wait, wait, wait. But the thing no, you wait, gotta wait, remember wait. is... Here, let me see. Look, look. Do it lightly. Do it lightly. Mm -hmm. Do it... Yeah, do it like that. Kind of this. Turn all the way over. Turn like an ADPFL. <laughs> There's no seal. Without right. pushing down hard on yeah, it. But see, let me see. My idea? Wait, this is going to stick it on your Would be similar? That's it. Yeah, see, that was another idea. I said I was going to go with you. I kind of like the way that you just cast it. Yeah, see, that's what cut I was saying. Winston, let go. Winston, let go. Winston. 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 <laughs> see, <laughs> it falls right off. Yeah. <laughs> Winston, let go. Now, what they're doing right now, is they've come up with a uh, design brief on what the robot is to look like and what it's supposed to do. And uh, in essence, their robot is to provide a platform for two other robots to, to climb aboard. And that gets them 60 points. So that's the design they're working on. They also have an arm that they're working on to pick up the inner tube and to be able to score with that. Now what we have is we've got a system that we think we can open up to provide the platform that's 90 inches by 12 and a half inches by 38 inches deep, but we're having a little trouble with how to get the ramp to work and we still have some difficulties on the part I just mentioned. We still see some obstacles in getting that design to work. They have come up with a system for using sheet metal as the decking.